Okay guys, so this time, it's time for some workout video. It's on a beast gear. Today, we're getting some workout videos, so stick around folks, it's coming up next. this here with all the ice on in the booth at the gate outside. As you can see right now, this is the uh, part of a workout training that I'm doing. Uh, this is day one, so we are going to be doing some uh, some part of the uh, technicians that we are going to be doing because none of them uh, people have been working it out so far. Um, if you are just younger people, you're not enough to be uh, to be uh, like training already. But if you're an adult who have some problems, I'm going to be showing you how to do the right way of doing the workout exercises. So this is the one I am doing right now. So the, uh, the part right here. This is where the um, this is where the machine is for the back and biceps, um, for this for the back and biceps, chest and triceps, and shoulders and legs. So it comes from all the body, from upper bodies to lower bodies. So um, so we get this one right. So we're going to be showing you how to do it the right way. So we're going to be starting off with day one. Let's get going. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing right now is we're gonna be doing some push-ups today. Uh, so the, this is the first part of the exercise that we are doing. And once you get this on here, this is, this is where the, uh, the calf and raises are gonna be. So first, I'm gonna be showing you a simple step to do some uh, push-ups. So you wanna make sure your hands placed on the ground. You wanna make sure they're leaned forward because if you lean back, then it's not gonna give you a nice push to put the push down on the ground. So you wanna make sure it's go over the shoulders, and then you wanna rock your leg back, and you wanna make sure, check out my longest body right here. So you can see where it is. This is where it comes out right now. So I wanna do it right nice and straight. And then after that, then you do it from here. Now you wanna make sure you're gonna wanna uh, breathe in and then breathe out. Once you come down, you come down, you go straight into it, and then when you hold it like that, then you come up. That's one. The simple step is by getting to catching your breath is a better idea. So I'm gonna be counting it really low. Keep it harder, breathe it in, and then breathe out. Just keep it the way it is. I'll do some more uh, if I can if I can handle it more. And you wanna make sure um hold it steady because if it arms are too wide, it's not gonna be enough. So you wanna make sure nice and square, just like that. And then come down, come up, come down, come up, just like that. So this is how you can do. Get that right into position. See how you could do the push-ups. All right, let's do the next exercise. This is called calf braces. So, so what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to hold this door because there is nothing um, that I can put into this one step. So I'm going to be doing it on the doorway. And right here down here. This is where it's going to be at. So you want to make sure uh, when you have it to grip, you want to make sure uh, the door is slightly open. You can step on in. Hold on, let me see, see what it is. You can step on where it was, just like a, just like there. And you want to make sure your foot is pointed out. Make sure it stays straight. Make sure it's lined up straight. And then look carefully, looking forward. So I'm going to be showing you, uh, I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to show you how this legs works. So this one is easy because when you uh, do calf raises, you want to make sure there's a nice grip and you want to get the uh, better proper position straight ahead. So you come up and you see those calves are raising uh, right behind. This is what I'm doing right now, doing it right. Doing this, it's not going to help. So this is how everything's done. Count carefully in your head and then you come down. Count up, and then come down. Come up, and then come down. Or the better way is to do calf raises is, is you can do this way. As you can see, this this is where um, this is where this is part of easier things that you could do instead of going straight. You can turn it this way. This is where my uh, foot is going this way in direction, or this way, outwards. This is where I this is where I stand here and get this one correctly. Now, when you uh, keep the uh, calf raises up here, please try to uh, stay focused and make sure it's better position. So you come up, come down, come up, and then come down, and then I'll keep going a few times right now. Little body energy, 
And it's very important to stay, uh, stay um, no, like hydrated and more by energy. Just like that. And right now, it's better to work at home. If you're, if it's not that right, if you don't have any stools or anything, that's fine. You could use a door. It's probably easier with the bones, and it holds you and it holds tight, just like I'm doing right now. All right, we'll get you right now to your next exercise. So we'll be right back. All right, so the next workout is this is going to be a bear perfect right now. As I'm going to put this uh, where it was. Let's see. I don't know if I. I don't know if I can reach that. Yeah, there we go. Um, so this is this, this is called the uh, chest press, and when you do this is where it comes from your chest to your body, and then you want to make sure the air is pulled in, and then pull out together. So when you pull it in, you want to make sure you have two hands locked in, and then when you have your technician, all you do is just press and then pull. See, as you can see right now, they're just touching, and then they're lifting it. See, just like that. So when you lift, it's a lot better. Or also, you could do a chest press on the floor. As you can see right now, I have done. I did the. Um, I did some workouts right now. Doing a little, uh, little deep, deeper, tough one. Maybe so. For those of you guys like, how am I gonna get this chest press right? Well, it's your simple. Just a little thought. And we'll put it right here. And then, then you want to see right now. So this one comes out. So you want to make sure, press it open, and then hold it together, just like a shoulder press. But this is different. Chest press, a little more difference between the shoulder press and chest press. That comes through your body when you're on the ground. So anyway, that's what you need to do. Go ahead and work on it a little more. And see how you can get. And then by the time you're done, you go up, and then you get it to yourself done. It's fairly good. All right, we'll get to the next exercise when we come back. All right, the next exercise we are about to be uh, exercise for day one is we're going to be doing some uh, tricep push downs. So my follow instruction right now is to uh, have a tricep a lot better. And once you get this tricep wrong. You're not doing the uh, right thing, as I just said. So it's really, really hard, but struggling, it doesn't matter. It doesn't count. So when you keep the uh, tricep roll moving freely, is because you need to have your knees, and then your and then your body lean forward, and then make sure you're straight contacting the uh, the weight. So when you pull down. All you do first is you come from here, watch my hands, come down, and then come up. That's a little difference between the shoulder press and, and a little tricep push downs. So come down again, and then come back up. You can do more than 15, or you can do as many if you can. So make sure you have a good body technique on your shoulders so you'll get more press out to get a lot better. So that's how we need to know. And then you're done, come up, and you're done. Got that? All right, next uh, exercise is on my way, so let's see what we have now. Now we have done the uh, shoulder press like like the tricep chest press down, and then we did the um, did the part of a chest press that we did. Then uh, then I'm going to be showing you some flies. This is for the uh, this is for the abs to uh, hold and then come fly like that. Reverse flies. It doesn't mean like uh, like you're flying in a position. It means it means you fly in a regular position, and then once you have this right, you'll feel a little difference. So watch here as I make the reverse flies even more different. So instead of here, you're now doing, you're now holding the, uh, the black pads, as I just hold on, then when you make sure, you make sure you're straight, and then when your arms are out, you come here, and then come out. So this is how it's done. Come here, 
pull it together, and then you come out. Don't forget to breathe sure, because when you're breathing, you gotta make sure it'll make you a lot more intensity. I've done the reverse flies a lot, so if you um, have done the reverse flies, why don't you go ahead and give it a try? If you have a machine or not, I'll, I'll do more reverse flies if you can do it at the workout place. Like Planet Fitness or something, you know, it's better to have the uh, reverse flies better. If they have machines there, you can work on that, but probably not because you could do dumbbells too. And I'm going to be uh, keeping breathing in. And that should be done. And then, now you can do it on the floor too. My personal way is, once you have, it, once you have a better, better, better position, all you do here, you put your weights out, and then you come up, and then you hold it there. If it's too wide, then you're going to have to do it here. If it starts to hurt, just stop where it was. And then come up, and then come from here. When you're done, lift up your body, and then you come up. So that's the end for the uh, reverse flies. Let's get to the next one. This will be calling the tricep kickbacks. All right, the next workout we're going to be doing is the reverse fly. This is called the tricep kickbacks. As for, as for example, you kick it back, and then you come from here. Not like when you're sprinting, you kick back your foot and then you uh, run straight down to the finish. But then I'm, I'm going to be showing you what the tricep kickback looks like as I'm using the 15 pounds. So you start right here. As you can see, my body is uh, is really straight. That's because it's uh, a little different. Then, then when I come around is I bend my knees and then bend over my back and make sure that it's here. Start from this position, come from here, right here. Your arms have to be here. And then when you come here, you do, um, you do the, um, you come up and then you come back down. Or you can do the opposite direction, left and then right. See, just like here, this is where my, uh, this is where the uh, shoulder comes in. And then you come up and then come down. It's really that simple. Don't be apologizing to me. But get more weight, you get a little looser. It's a lot. It's really good strategy to put with the uh, tricep kickbacks, and you could do a lot better. Now we're going to be showing you our last last exercise as we could do. This will be the tricep ex the um, what do we call that? Oh yeah, the tricep um, extensions. This is it will be the last one. So stick for more, we'll be right on the last one. Alright, our last exercise for day one is the tricep extension. So basically, we, we have never heard what tricep is, but keeping the back, it's better to be safe. So when you come down, it might be not be that different. Not like the original triceps, like you put this uh, tricep on your, on your arm, and it holds your body still. That, might, that means you can't even move. Now the second thing I wanted to know is, tricep extension is a little more different. So watch here as I come back down. Watch for my back. This is where it starts here. You want to make sure your elbow is outward, not outward, inward. If it comes outward, then it's something's going to be not right. Your shoulders are going to be off. Your arms are going to be a little too tight. And you want to make sure they're really straight. And then when you come down, that's where he gets the pressure right now. That's where it comes from the bicep that happens right now. The triceps is better. It's because when, when you have the tricep better, then your arms gets really pushing out good. That's where, that's where it comes from the tricep extension by, by the original triceps with the stretch. So I'll keep it going down. Just like that. This is where it comes down, down from here. This is where the back, right here, comes down from. Then I come up, and then I come down. Come up, and then I come down. And then when you're done, all you do is like a hammer throw, but this is going to be a little different. Right here, and then you come down slowly, and all the way down. So that's how we do the uh, day one. Looks like you're going to have some... 
looks like you're going to be a lot that proud. So, so for kids who are um, not old enough, uh, you'll get the workout better. And, and for adults, just keep trying your best. See if you can do it right now. Anyways, thanks for watching right now. And if you'd like to see some more videos, don't forget to subscribe to uh, the Son of Beast channel. I just uh, look like Son of Beast. I don't know. But we'll just see how we can do. Day two, we'll start um, We'll start the um, another of our workouts. And we're going to be doing some uh, shoulder, or, um, legs and shoulders for day two. And day three, back and biceps. So thanks for watching. And well, until next time, we'll see you on, on the next workout. Take care. Peace.